All right, people. I believe everybody is doing great, nice, and absolutely fine. Sir, I am right now dropper. Okay. Now my target is GMC, and let me tell you, sir, I cannot afford to take one more drop after this. This is my final drop. This is my last drop because my family has told me that after this you will have to go somewhere else. But you cannot prepare for the need. So to all those students, if they have finally taken the drop. and their target is gmc right now which month is this we say june is about to come okay after 2 3 days and then we have to go from june to may sir please tell me is there any shortcut and what are the things that i need to do what are the methods that i need to follow so that we can reach this gmc from june to may okay sir please tell me that because we have seen you have produced the selections because we have seen you have guided those students who were stuck at some particular mark and then after your guidance they crossed the mark sir please tell me what are the things that i need to keep in my mind so that i can go from this dropper into the government medical college if not aim sir at least i want to enter the government medical college sir please tell me the complete method and complete strategy in this one okay so guys listen to me very carefully whatever i say over here you don't have to go out of that you have to follow just that only because maximum number of students of mine who have done this who have followed this plan the points which i'll be mentioning in this one they were they are in the gmc right now okay they are in the gmc with the in the top gmcs i must say so boys and girls listen to me very carefully and do share this video with all of your friends whatever you have to do for the next we say june to may that we will be discussing in this one okay now listen to me very 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 carefully so the first point should come in our mind sir when to start shall we start tonight shall we start tomorrow shall we start right now the point is we have to start right now okay and i am assuming 10 months are left out there okay how many months only 10 months are left and if we multiply it with 30 days it will come out to be 300 days approximately so means roughly if we take an idea you have got 97 chapters and you have got 300 days means you have to complete the chapter in your 4 days okay 4 days means you it should be revision everything 2 3 revisions of that chapter completion of that chapter should be done we say in 4 days because this amount of time is left sir is it possible yes that's what i will be telling you in this one sir how are you going to help us that i will be telling you in this particular strategic video Now my dear friends we say for the first 24 hours what you are supposed to do is that first i don't say sir take the books and start writing start reading okay start learning no at this point of time for the first 24 hours you have to do the research you have to do the analysis because that's very much important if you have to ask some of those students who have already cracked you can contact them and ask them ask them understand the need pattern research research what is the syllabus what i am supposed to learn and what i am not supposed to learn we have already uh, put up so many videos based on this on this particular channel and if you have any of your we say relative any of the toppers out there or any of the students who have cracked before you can contact him you can ask him tell me about the syllabus tell me about this tell me about that and what is the weightage of every single chapter so that i can move according to the weightage it's not like i'll go with the chapter which is having extremely low weightage and tomorrow you'll say sir i got no marks i have nothing in my hand i'm not even able to cross the safe score so that's the reason you have to understand all of these facts first weightage and pattern what are the pattern of questions which are asked okay maximum number of students i have seen they have completed the entire syllabus but when it comes to the examination hall over there they say oh this statement based question a certain reason question fill in the blanks sir i can i'm i'm confused how to solve this how it is taking me a lot of time if you do not practice the statement based questions do not practice the certain reason questions do not practice the match the following questions then you will lose for sure those marks don't think that sir i'll go over there and over there i'll start matching no you have to practice those matching questions here itself you should have a set of uh, match the following questions uh, and and then you have to basically solve those and then you will it will take you less time in the examination hall tomorrow to crack that particular ex uh, exam okay and my dear friends we have got the sample papers you should know you should have the sample papers what is which which are present on the nta what are the pattern of questions they have been asking again and again 
previous year papers you should have a set of previous year papers so when you get all of this just put it on the table and then start analyzing then for the rest of the year you have to follow this you have to follow this method okay this is very much important maximum number of students what they do is sir let's start with the first chapter of this subject first chapter of this subject and let's keep going so first you have to understand everything over here because maximum number of students lag because of this because of this now what should be our study routine at this point of time i won't be telling you you have to study 18 hours 17 hours no 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 i say study for 12 hours but daily it has to be consistently you have to be very consistent at this point of time lectures six to seven hours let's suppose you are taking a batch you are in our batch that's phoenix 2.0 in which we are teaching so we say in that batch lectures are going for six to seven hours okay then the rest of the time you have to use you have to utilize in the self-study that's very much important okay self-study now i will be telling you what you are supposed to do how you are supposed to categorize this whole time i will be telling you okay the first thing is where to start from start with the high weightage chapters sir are you going to start with the high weightage chapters in the phoenix batch yes we are going to start with the high weightage chapters already yesterday we have started one session already yesterday the batch has already started if you haven't enrolled yet enroll it right now the link is in the description below and main thing my dear friends what is the approach let's talk about the subject physics okay so weekly schedule you will have to go from monday to friday okay from monday to friday you will have to study physics completely and we say let's suppose two hour lecture i'm taking in the phoenix batch okay or you are in a batch in which two hour lecture is going maximum teachers take two hour lecture then we say 1.5 hours of practice you guys have to do means means we say 3.5 hours daily 3.5 hours daily and when it comes to what you are supposed to see, live lectures will be over there in our Phoenix 2.0 batch, live lectures. And once we are done with the live lectures afterwards, there will be a detailed one shot means the revision will be completed. Whole, whole revision will be completed. Whole chapter will be completed in that one shot. And then we say, my dear friends, handwritten notes, you have to make the handwritten notes and we will be also providing you the handwritten notes. Okay, because at the end of the day, when students have to revise the entire chapter in five minutes, these handwritten notes help you at that point of time. Okay, teacher's notes doesn't help you, but these handwritten notes. Handwritten notes means when you are in the live lecture and you are taking the notes, whatever the teacher is telling you. Okay, and then we say practice a minimum of 100 questions per chapter. Sir, how many questions are you going to solve in every single chapter in Phoenix 2.0? 250 questions, mark my words right now. 250 questions in every single chapter I will be solving in Phoenix 2.0 and apart from that 100 questions you guys are supposed to do from your end 250 questions if you are doing from any particular chapter that is more than sufficient okay now now we say what are the things I am supposed to do previous year questions we say exemplar we say in-text questions okay and most importantly my dear friends we say stick to a particular we say teacher and sir, what are these in-text questions? If you take the NCRT, in the NCRT, you'll see examples. You will have to solve those. Very, very important. You will have to solve the questions which are at the end, the exercise questions. You will have to solve those. Okay. Previous year questions, very much important. Examples, very much important. Okay. Now, my dear friends, we say stick to a particular teacher. There are students who say, I'll follow this teacher, that teacher, that teacher. That student never cracks the exam. Because if you follow a particular set of teachers who guide you, who tell you to basically enter because different teachers tell you the different strategy. Now you'll be confused, sir, which strategy, which path I have to go through. So you have to figure out in the starting itself, which teacher I'm supposed to follow so that I can reach the medical college. Okay, that's why I'm saying stick, stick to a particular teacher. And Sundays, what you are supposed to do is we say weekly tests and weekly revision. This is also important. Whatever you have studied for the entire week, you will have to revise and you will have to give the test. Then when it comes to the chemistry schedule, weekly schedule will be from Monday to Friday for chemistry also. Okay, two hour lecture plus we say one hour NCRT reading when it comes to the chemistry. NCRT reading is must. And we say one hour practice over here, okay? And we say four hours daily, you have to spend in the chemistry also. And then my dear friends, listen to me very carefully. We say live lectures, Vasim sir and HSP sir will be taking the live lectures. And after that detailed one shot will be given to you. Handwritten notes will, you will have to make in the chemistry also. Okay, and practice, practice, 
how much how many number of questions we say 150 to 200 questions because chemistry doesn't take you much time to solve the questions as compared to physics so that's why i have kept over here 150 to 200 questions because chemistry is a scoring subject and you can score easily if you uh, practice maximum number of questions over here also we say previous year questions we say exemplar we say in-text questions all of this you have to solve in this case also and I am telling you stick to a particular set of teachers over here also. Do you think there is any teacher who is better than Vaseem sir and HSP sir? So I say follow the particular set of teachers in the chemistry also. You will land into the government medical college. That's my guarantee. And then after in Sundays, you will have the weekly test and you will have the weekly revision. Okay, let's talk about in biology. My dear friends, when it comes to the biology, we say live lectures and detailed one shots. Handwritten notes over here you will have to make practice sir how many number of questions no limit because biology you have to keep one thing in your mind if you want to enter the government medical college you have to score 340 out of 360 when it comes to the biology and you have to get we say 160 plus in your chemistry at least and if you afterwards then you get 140 only in physics you are in the medical college that's my guarantee so biology is a scoring subject you have to practice enough number of questions previous year questions exemplar we say in text questions which are in the ncrt you will have to memorize the diagrams over here also very important from this you will have to basically go through the charts which are given in the ncrt you will have to go through the graphs which are given in the ncrt remember all of this guys this is the analysis which i have personally done these are the things which maximum number of toppers are of mine they have done that's why i'm telling you to follow the same rule same method and mind maps also mind maps also and my dear friends my dear friends we say here also stick to the particular teacher okay be it ambika ma'am be it punkuri man they are the best set of teachers who can guide you in this one also then we say on sundays you will have got weekly tests and weekly schedule sir Will this happen in the Phoenix 2.0? Yes, absolutely yes. Now, what you are supposed to do, sir, let's suppose for eight months you followed this particular strategy. Afterwards, what I'm supposed to do in the last two months, that I will be making separately a strategy, but over here, you will have to go with the comprehensive revision, that's full syllabus revision, and full length mock test, and we say analysis and practice. Sir, how we are supposed to do these three? Right now, we don't have to discuss it. We'll see it after we say later on at the end end moment okay now my dear friends sir you are talking about this phoenix 2.0 phoenix 2.0 in which you will be teaching hsp sir vaseem sir will be teaching sir what is this batch this batch is for you guys that is for droppers if you want to take the subscription if you want to enroll in this batch yesterday already one session i have taken go and check the comments go and see what students are writing how is the level of the content how teachers are teaching you in this particular batch go check so Vaseem sir has already taken the first session on YouTube go and check the comments of that sec go and check the comment section of that video okay you'll find that the level of content the teachers are providing I have taken the first session on an academy's platform go and check what students are saying over there so if you haven't taken the subscription yet I want you guys to take it as soon as possible and the price has been reduced it is only for 4999 rupees Okay, the link is in the description below. Previously, it used for 5,500. Right now, it is for 4,999 rupees. And you are getting the plus subscription means you will be getting the access to all the batches. Not just one batch, you will be getting the access to all the batches. The complete test series, study material, everything will be provided. Okay, so the link is in the description below, my dear friends. Click on to that link and, and enroll as soon as possible. So see you guys in the batch. Take care and bye-bye.